Hey gang, Jim Farmer here. It's uh, Thursday, it's getting to be the end of January, and uh, I'm coming back through the marina and headed back home now. But I thought uh, I hadn't done a uh, uh, what's on my deck video in a while, and it's the middle of winter, so I thought I'd show you what I've been using this week and really the uh, past few weeks. But uh, First off, if I start out early in the morning and I'm, uh, I'm out on uh, the ditches, in the ditches, on flats, uh, where there might be fish feeding early on shad, uh, what I'm using, I'm just using uh, LJ's uh, Lanier Bates little uh, Damiki head, and I'm using that with a little 2A Kytec. I think this is, uh, this little 2A Kytec, uh, it's, uh, it's called Super Shad, and the reason the reason why I'm using it is number one, when you look at this thing swimming in the water, it does look like a little threadfin shad, and uh, right now a lot of these bass are feeding on threadfin shad, and plus two, it's got a lot of uh, sparkle in it, kind of greens, there's blue, there's silver, but uh, it's got a lot of flash in it, and early in the morning, when the sun's coming up, these little uh, these little baits with flash in it seem to be what's uh, uh, getting the fish to kind of kind of react to them. So uh, 2.8 Kytec on uh, Lanier Bait's little uh, quarter ounce Demiki head. And uh, I want to talk about the rod that I'm using. Right now I'm using this Cast King rod. It's a 7.3 Speed Demon. And uh, this is a medium rod and it's for jigs and worms. But I found it works pretty good with this uh, little swim bait. I like the feel of the rod. It's got, I believe it's got uh, something like 13-1 on, on the eyelets. It's 12-1, 13-1. But it's got a lot of eyelets and it's got a lot of, uh, it's got a lot of backbone as well as a fast tip on it. And I can really throw this little 2-8 Kytec with it. Uh, the reel itself is a Speed Demon, Demon Elite reel. And uh, this has got a lower gear ratio, so uh, I can really crank down on some of these fish. And I found myself with this uh, with this Speed Demon Elite, Elite 2000, I found myself, instead of setting the hook on these uh, little swim baits like this, the gear ratio allows me just to reel down on the fish and he's on there so there's no hook set with this kind of gear ratio and uh, I really like the I've kind of gotten used to the reels now and I really like the way that they work and uh, it's got a good ball bearing system it's I think it's uh, 10, 10 to 1 stainless steel so that's a good ball bearing system feels good and I've been using it all this week and I've caught some good fish on it so that's uh, when I'm starting early in the morning with the swim bait once I get uh, into the day a little bit and the sun gets up I'm throwing the uh, shaky head and uh, I know that I've talked about it before but uh, this is the general by Berkeley and uh, that's one that I'm using and this is working pretty good. These fish right now, it's the middle of winter, the water's cold, it's 49, 50 degrees. And uh, these fish right now, they're kind of slow to react to the uh, something. So the thing I like about the Berkeley General is it's heavy and I can cast it a long way with this quarter ounce uh, little ball head. And so I could get a good cast and you know, I can drag this worm forever if I could get a good cast. And uh, that's the reason that uh, I like this is because I can cast it so far. Plus, if you smell these things, it kind of smells, it's got a little bit of a smell to it, kind of a stink to it, I guess you could say. Kind of like the old catfish Charlie or some bait like that. And you know, during the middle of winter, these fish aren't gonna move around too much. And they, you know, they get around something like this, it's got a little bit of scent on it. That might, uh, that might help a little bit. So that's the second one. And the third one's a spot choker underspin. I've been throwing this uh, not only in the backs of the ditches early in the morning, 
uh, just dragging it on the bottom and just hopping it along and making it flash. But uh, I've also been throwing it alongside the docks this week. Like once the sun gets up and it gets to be like mid-afternoon, uh, I've been throwing this in the shade patches on the dock. I really like throwing this on the shade patches on the docks. What I do is I just cast to the back of the dock and on the shady side of the dock and just maybe give it a one or a two count just to sink it down maybe about four feet or something like that and then slow roll, roll it back. Some of these bass are coming out from under those uh, docks and hitting this and one of the reasons is I got the bigger uh, willow blade on it and I got this willow blade shined up really good so it's really flashing in the water. When you run this thing in the water down the side of a dock you'll see how this willow blade flashes. But uh, that's uh, the spot choker. Uh, I've also got the on the back end of that it's a uh, I'm using this net bait. So uh, it's a net bait, little spanky and a pearl. And that's the one I'm using for the uh, spot choker. And once again, I'm using that in the ditches and, and also give this a try alongside of the docks. So there's three baits that I'm using right now.